Oh yeah, two and one. Did you see that? That was skill. I'm gonna remember that moment forever now. Memories. Uh, ah! Ah! Oh, come on! I'm gonna show off my wicked skill to these Koopa Tur. Ah! Oh, come on! Hey, it's it Ludo coming to you live from my basement. I realize I haven't been doing any videos for a long time, and you could blame me, but you could also blame my computer since it shut down completely, restarted, and destroyed all of my info. Now my mom has taken away all my pri computer privileges for a month. <laughs> so, um, aside from that, where we are, well, we refilled Lake Helia, I guess. That's a start. And now we are at the Spring of the Spirit Lane Rue. I hate that name. It's just weird. Um, think of it. Lane Rue. Lane Yeru. Lane Yeru. It's like something from Australia. Oh well. Um, that was really stupid. <laughs> that was stupid. So, let's get going. And find some something to do in here. Since that is our mission. Ah! Oh look! Spirit stuff. Haha. <laughs> I am the last of the spirits of light consumed by twilight. Hero chosen one of the gods. You have done well to make it this far. Gather my scattered tears of light. Blah blah blah. We've gotten all this before. So. That's it. You guys know how it goes. I'm gonna have to uh, kick in some music just so it's not as boring as usual. But I'm thinking, like, I had a quest comment or question, suggestion from one of my few viewers who said, How come you always kick in music? Why couldn't you just go video mode? Well, do you really want to just listen to me talking like this the whole time? I don't think so. I'm entertaining, but I'm not that entertaining. So, now we have to collect the blue stuff, which is also part of the spirit stuff. Pretty weird. Ew. Um. While we're at it, my. Oh. Never mind. I know who's. I remember this. Yep. It is easy. You just destroy this one, and then you go for these weirdos. And. Buzzing! Wait, buzzing! Yeah! So since I can't think of anything to really talk about, might as well make discussion. A while ago, um, I heard a story from one of my relatives. Wait, customers. Oh. Um, I was at one of my fair grunkle's houses, and I heard about this story. One of his stories. See, he's a bit of a pack rat, um, and he basically will keep a lot of stuff at uh, his house like whenever he had need wants more stuff or whenever he runs out of room to put stuff he'll just make another show and it doesn't stop so one day his son asked him hey um could you go and get this really cheap bed that's for sale at a yard sale and when he came back 
after buying the bed for his son. He didn't have a bed with him, he had an oar, even though he didn't have a boat. So, my Grunkle bought a bed for his son, or was supposed to, and instead he bought a bed. An oar. Alright, alright, I need to make a diagram. Um, uh, let me think about this. <sighs> He was supposed to buy a bed, but he bought an oar, even though he didn't have a boat. So, you, you could kind of like draw a picture of how that ended. And that, and you know, it's just kind of a little family story that goes around. It's like, why did he buy it? Oh well, we'll never know. Oh well, back to this. We have one of these diggy bugs right here. And apparently I just got a blue ruby while trying to destroy it. Gotcha. Uh, I'm victorious! Not to be confused with the pop star. Boom. Another thing I want to start discussing is, um, a while ago, I found out that my computer won't record anything anymore. It'll record, like, videos, but not my voice. My beautiful, wonderful voice. So, um, I'm not even using my computer right now. My mom sleeps in a lot, like most moms, I'm assuming. So, what happened, so my plan was, uh, leave her alone, don't wake her up, and borrow her computer while she's asleep. And make Let's Plays. So, I'm kind of, like, on the run right now. I'm a fugitive from my mom. Oh, come on. Can't you get here, you snapbag? Alright. So, that out of the way. Don't tell my mom. Any family members watching this, don't tell her that I've been doing this. She will basically flip. I can't dig up any of this. Dig up the stupid dirt. There. Alright. So we have this grass stuff. Hey, blow that grass there. The monster bird that was just here should come back. Even if you can't play it yourself, maybe you could sit here and howl the same song. Yup. So I think to make this a little bit more entertaining than it already is, I should kick in music, but if I did that, then we'd be missing out on actually a really important part of it, which is the bird cavern race, whatever. How do you say that? It's the, um, I guess this is just the bird race. That reminds me, I have to look something up. Um, I have two computers with me. I'm using one computer for research. I'm using, which is the old computer, and I'm using the, my mom's computer for recording and stuff. So I'm kind of multitasking. So while you're in here, you're gonna have to turn on your senses. Yeah, whoever thought you could do that. Um, and you're gonna have to run into these abnormally large bugs. Yeah, see, they are bigger than any other bug in the game because of uh, it'd be hard to see them if you were if they were normal sized, it'd just be a little teeny dot on the screen. So they made them super huge, so you'd be able to see them and run into them. The trick to doing this is Z-targeting, if you want to be able to do this the right way. You could, I guess, challenge yourself to running into them the old fashioned way, but it's not quite as easy. Um, and don't worry about getting too far ahead of them, they will always zoom back in front of you. Um, so if you want to go really fast through this, I guess you could. And I don't think it's really that hard, honestly. You should be able to do this just fine, unless you're a really terrible gamer like I was originally. But, you know, skill, things happen. Oh, there you are. Uh -huh. Oh, come on. Oh well, I got my bird. I got my stuff anyway. Not like I had anything else to do. 
you think we should try it again? Uh, no. I feel we already got done what we needed to get done. Now, I gotta go find out what the name of that tunnel was. Uh huh. Warp. Just warp your behind up to the Zora Domain so we don't have to do all that crap. Hey, that's weird. They got this. Hyrule Warriors thing going on. Hyrule Warriors, eh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Ganon's gonna be a high playable warrior in Hyrule Warriors. That's cool. Wait, what? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm recording. Yeah, right. Um, sorry. You know, I've been, um, I've been getting myself into the latest pieces of Hyrule Warriors, trying to piece together all of it make my own theories and understand what's going on. Lately, it's just been, you know, there's new playable characters such as the Zora Prince, Rudo, Thermani, um, Sheik. A lot of Ocarina of Time. Just a ton of Ocarina of Time. Nothing much more. There's a few theories spinning around, but not much. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, never mind, never mind. That wasn't it. Um, oh... Give me a second, I'm gonna skip ahead. Alright, I'm back. I found nothing on the topic. It's just called... It's, go, it's called Fruit Pop Flight Challenge. I could go into the details on that, but that would be really exhausting. And, uh, we aren't really that far yet. So, I'm not... I'm gonna spare your teeny primitive brains from such hard work. And just say, we'll put that off to another day. In the meanwhile, I am going killer with this. And I'm just going to start speeding through. So, there's not really that much entertainment in this anymore. I think I'm going to start the music now. one more light spirit to get and um, frankly it's kind of depressing knowing you know this is the last of the twilight um, I was gonna name this episode the twilight zone but I feel that isn't very fitting so I'm naming it whatever else I was gonna name it it being I don't come up with the names now I come up with them later speaking of which um, uh, with names and words and all that I have to do the word of the day now uh huh. Where the day is aberrant, deriving from the normal or usual type as certain animals from the group in which they are classified. That's first. That's the first definition. Second definition, behaving in an abnormal or untypical way. Or third definition, de deviating from truth or morality. So it's it's just strange, weird, unusual. Kind of like the twilight. I guess that's why I picked that word. Haha. <laughs> hey, um. Never mind. So, I just got Adventure of Link. It is a heck of, It is just quite. It is as hard, if not harder. 
um, as I expected it to be. Everyone talked about, hey, this game's really hard on YouTube, and I'm like, oh, they're idiots. They just never played it. They never played it like I do, but then I start playing it, and I'm like, holy crap, I want to sue. It's just, the game, let me think of it this way. You cannot twist Mario and Zelda together. That's basically what they did. They took Mario side-scrolling and the Zelda theme, mixed it together into this really unholy combination that's just scary. Um, I don't think I properly introduced you guys to this area yet, but I think I did. But, you know, I guess I'll introduce it later. Castle Town. Yep. I'm just gonna explore this little bit of area that I haven't explored yet. I guess I could do this just to make it look more entertaining. Not like you guys care about entertainment. If you're listening to this, you must be doing it out of guilt. Yes, I know what you're thinking, people. This is the worst Let's Player ever, and I am 100% on board with you on that. I'll take a flip pink slip any day, but I think it's fun for me and a little bit entertaining for you to guys for you guys to watch this. What the heck is this? this is a stupid bug. So I think I should come up with a name while I'm making this video right now. Um we should call this episode Bug Trouble. No. Hmm. Give me a second, I'll think of something. I'll think of something. What is it, Midnight? I know, I gotta go get the bugs. Hey, what's going on? There should be one more. Where could the last tier be? What? There it is. What's going on? This is weird. Alright, I didn't see that there either. I guess the game's whacking out on us. Well, guys, I completely forgot we had a portal located in Lake Heliad. Um, that was really dumb on my part. Holy crap, jeez, that's huge. Oh, please say this is not a mini-boss. Please say it's not a mini-boss. Uh, yeah. I'm walking to my doom. Hello, people. So, I got, uh, while I we got, um, I might as well think of something to talk about while we do this. Um, I just got Kirby's Adventure at the same time I got the, the Adventure of Link and Mario Bros. Uh, Super Mario Bros. And I know I'm missing something. There's something else I got. Uh, I... Oh, and Mar- no. I forgot, I got something. What was it? I could have forgot. I got- I bought both- Oh, pick- Pac-Man. That's what I got, right? Pac-Man! I got Pac-Man and all those good games. Um, and I, let me just tell you, it's only like three of them were really worth it. Hi. I mean, two of them. Only two of them were really worth it. It's really weird. You think that it like- Oh. You got an electrocuty thing. It should be very dangerous. That feels like something you find in a chest. Honestly, I think this is the most theatrical, um, I guess entertaining bullet boss battle ever. It's just like the, you know, how it was planned out. It's not something you expected, but it's something that has, like, everything in it. It has a cool introduction that's very dramatic, if I do say so myself, and a really interesting theme of attack. 
Even if it is a really easy boss, I really think this is one of the coolest medals there is. No offense, uh, Deku Toad, but I have I see this reoccurring theme. I seem to be lo I seem to be loving all these big, ugly bosses. I don't know. Maybe it's just the music that gets me or whatever, but you know, they're, they're entertaining battles. Now here's the trick to this battle. Um, when he, it's about to, when you see that's just flying in the air, get to one of the sides of the view, of the thing you're on to make sure that you'll have room to run away. While you're here, do not attack one at a time, destroy all of them at once, and it'll make your life a lot simpler, please, trust me on this. And boom. How is it even sticking up? How is it like flying in midair? And ironically, it gives us just as much as all the other lights, tiers of light do. And we got this little teeny thing. I guess that makes a lot of sense. Oh well, I would end the video after we do this, but we have something that happens right afterwards, so I think I am going to end our video right here with her flying off into the distance. You make sure you get that last few shadow now. <laughs> See you later.